Realize, my dear brothers and sisters, that this day of Friday, Yawm al Jumu'ah, is the most blessed day of the entire week. Our Prophet wasallam said that the best day that the sun rises on, the best day that the sun rises is Yawm al Jumu'ah. It is the day of Friday, Yawm al Jumu'ah. Why? He gave us many reasons. Fihi khuliqa Adam. On Jumu'ah, Adam was created. Wafihi udkhil al Jannah. On Jumu'ah, Adam entered Jannah. Wafihi ahbata ila al Ard. And on Friday, Adam came down to this world. And in one version, he added, Wafihi tiba alayhi. On Friday, Allah repented on him. After, meaning that after Adam committed the sin, and he asked Allah Azza wa for forgiveness. On this day, Allah Azza wa Jal repented on Adam. And our Prophet ﷺ said, and on Friday is the day that the trumpet will be blown. I.e. Yawm Al-Qiyamah will also occur on a Friday. So all of these blessings have been associated with the day of Friday. And another blessing that our Prophet ﷺ said relates to the ummas that Allah has sent. The Prophet ﷺ said, that you are the last yet the first. You are the last yet the first of ummas. How so? He explained chronologically you are the last. Chronologically you are the last. But on the day of judgment you shall be the first to be judged and enter Jannah. And he explained this through our series of holy days. He explained this through the series of holy days that the other religions have. The Prophet ﷺ told us that the people before you have been misguided with regards to the holy day. And so the Jews have taken Saturday as their holy day. And the, and the Christians have taken Sunday as their holy day. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came with us and He guided us to Friday. In other words, the day that really is the best of all the days is Friday. And then the analogy is because Friday is the before Saturday and Sunday, even though we're the last nation, we were guided to the right day. And that right day is before the other days, Saturday and Sunday. Similarly, we will be the last nation chronologically, but we will be the first nation on the day of judgment to be judged and resurrected, to be uh, caused to enter Jannah, even before the other, gen uh, other ummas and other nations before us. And this is the blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. The Prophet ﷺ said, the other nations disagree agreed and were misguided about their holy day. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided you to the holy day. And that is the day of Friday. In yet another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, Jumu'ah, Sayyidu is the leader of the ayam of the usbu' of the days of the week. Jumu'ah is the Sayyid. The Sayyid here means the one that is in the forefront. The Sayyid means the one that is the best, the one that has the most attention. Jumu'ah is the leader of all of the other days of the week. Notice on this day of Jumu'ah, so many things are linked to the beginnings. The beginning of the creation of Adam. Fihi khuliqa Adam. On this day, Adam was created. On this day, Adam entered Jannah. On this day, Adam came down to earth. On this day, Allah repented upon Adam. On this day, Yawm Al-Qiyamah will also occur. Therefore, this shows us that Friday is like a new beginning. Because if you look at all of these things, they're all new beginnings. There was no Adam, Allah created Adam, that's on Friday. Allah caused Adam to enter Jannah, a new beginning. Allah caused Adam to come down to this earth, a new beginning. Allah repented on Adam, a new beginning. Yawm Al-Qiyamah, a new beginning. So one simple point that we derive every Friday for us. For us, Friday is the first day of the week. We should not think of Friday as the last day. No, for us, Friday is the first day. It is the Sayyid of all days. We have to tune our minds psychologically to look at Friday as the beginning. And therefore, the Friday becomes the beginning of a new week for us. So like, just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed Adam with Jannah, just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed Adam with a new chance and a new life, He didn't punish Adam when he committed the sin. He caused him to come to earth, which is a new life. Just like Allah repented on Adam. Similarly, every Friday for us should be a new week. We should think of the next week as being better than the previous week. Every Friday we should try to begin a new beginning. Like Allah Azza wa Jal gave Adam over and over again. And in fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
prefer Jumu'ah over all of the other days in order to give it these specialities, in order that we have a, what happens on Eid? Don't we get excited? Don't we look forward to Eid? Isn't it a hallmark of the year? Similarly, the hallmark of the week for us should be Jumu'ah. This should be the pinnacle of the week. This should be the new beginning for us. And somebody will ask, what is the meaning of Jumu'ah? Why is it called Jumu'ah? Scholars have differed over this and there are a number of opinions. Perhaps the two most strongest ones are Jumu'ah is called Jumu'ah because Allah Azza wa Jal gathered Jama'a, the soil that created Adam on this day. This is one opinion. And another opinion, Jumu'ah is called Jumu'ah because the people yajma'un, they gather together. And of course, both meanings have an element of correctness to them in that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gathered all of the different types of soil to create Adam. And Allah gathers all different types of people on Jumu'ah. Everyone comes from all different areas of the land, from all different ethnicities, from all different backgrounds, they come together. And so Jumu'ah is called Jumu'ah because the people gather together, because the people come together, just like Adam himself came together from different types of soils, from different types of earths. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has gathered the people together to worship him on the day of Jumu'ah. The day of Jumu'ah is the only day that Allah Azza wa Jal Himself has mentioned by name in the Quran and praised it. Allah has praised Jumu'ah. Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, idha nudiya lis-salati min yawmil Jumu'ah. Allah specifies the day of Friday when the adhan is given, meaning for the Jumu'ah salah. On the day of Friday, yawmul Jumu'ah, fas'aw ila dhikrillahi wa dharul bay'ah. Rush to to come and remember, to come and listen to the remembrance of Allah. This is how the verse should be translated. فَسْعَوْ إِلَىٰ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ Come hasten to listen to the dhikr of Allah. Dhikr Allah here means the khutbah. Allah calls dhikr Allah the khutbah. The khutbah is called dhikr Allah because the khutbah reminds you of Allah. So Allah is saying, when the adhan is given for Jumu'ah, then hasten to come to the khutbah and leave all buying and selling. If you really understand and you want success, leave all your businesses, leave your workplaces, leave everything that will distract you from the worship of Allah and come for the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, what is interesting here, Allah uses the word fas'aw. And the meaning of fas'aw is to rush. And yet by unanimous consensus of all the scholars of Quran and tafsir and fiqh, you're not supposed to rush physically to Jumu'ah. You don't rush your car, you don't rush running to Jumu'ah. Yet Allah uses a verb that means rush. And the Prophet ﷺ explained, when you come for Jumu'ah, فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِالسَّكِينَةِ وَالْوِقَارِ Come with dignity and peace. Yet the Quran says rush. How so? Scholars say, when Allah is saying fas'aw, He's talking about your spiritual excitement. He's talking about your psychological state, not your physical state. No one's supposed to physically run for Jumu'ah. No one's supposed to drive recklessly for Jumu'ah. This is not what Allah is saying. But Allah is saying, be excited. Be excited. Like when you want to get somewhere, your heart is already there. Right? Fas'aw. You should already be there. You should want to be with Jumu'ah. Fas'aw ila dhikrillah. Wadhurul bay'ah. And leave all trade and transaction. Thalikum khayrul lakum. That is better for you if you truly understood what is right and what is wrong for you. So notice even the verb that Allah mentions. It's a verb for excitement. It's a verb for making sure that we hasten to get to the Friday Salah. And in fact, Friday is a blessed day even in the next world, beginning with the signs of death to the Qiyamah, Jannah and Jahannam. They have things related to Friday. Beginning with death itself, the Prophet ﷺ said, that of the signs of a good death is to die on Friday. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal for a beautiful death on Friday. Of the signs of a good death is to die on Friday. The Prophet ﷺ said that whoever dies on Friday shall be protected from the fitna of the Qabr. And he said on the day of Friday or the night of Friday. SubhanAllah, the whole 24 hours. And by the way, the night of Friday is not Friday night. The night of Friday in Islamic Sharia is Thursday night. Because in the Sharia, the night precedes the day. In the Sharia, the night comes before the day. And so Thursday after Maghrib is when Friday begins. As we all know from Ramadan and Eid, that's our, our, our beginning is with sunset. And so whoever dies on, from our perspective, Thursday night or Friday daytime, this is the blessed time to die. And the Prophet said, this is a sign of a good death is to die on Friday. SubhanAllah, that is how blessed it is that even a death on Thursday night or Friday morning is a blessed time to die. And in the next world as well, there are blessings associated with, with Friday. As for 
the blessings of the next world. The Prophet ﷺ told us, Ibn al-Qayyim mentions this in Zad al-Ma'ad, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He uh, he uh, makes the coal of the fire of hell hotter on every day. Yusajjar, which means he makes it hotter. Like you take the coals of your barbecue, you make it hotter, you poke it. Except for the day of Friday, out of a respect and out of an honor for Friday, that is the one day that the coals of the fire of hell are not touched or not made hotter. And as for Jannah, there are multiple blessings associated with Friday in Jannah. And of those blessings, hadith in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet ﷺ said that every Jumu'ah there will be a suq, a marketplace, and the people will go out every Jumu'ah to this marketplace. And Allah Azza wa Jal will send a wind that will increase them in their beauty and their jamal and their nur. And when they come back home, their families will say, what has happened with you? You have come back much more beautiful, much more glorious, much more enlightened. And the people will respond, no, by Allah, rather we find this beauty coming from you, that you are more beautiful and you are more noble and more enlightened than when we left you. SubhanAllah, on Friday, everybody will be blessed in Jannah. Every Friday, there will be an upgrade. And because Allah Azza wa Jal ala kulli shayin qadir, this is an infinite upgrade. Every Friday, people will look, be looking better. And people will be looking more handsome and beautiful. And this will be a non-stop occurrence every single Friday. And notice here, what a beautiful reward that in this world, people were told, leave your businesses and come for Jumu'ah. But in the next life, there is no salah. There will be no prayer, right? There will be no salah in Jannah. Because you're in Jannah. So what will Allah Azza wa Jal bless people with? The very things that they abandoned to come to Jumu'ah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will allow them to trade and transact without any money. Whatever you want will be yours. Because what is a suq? A suq is where you buy what you want. But there is no money in Jannah, right? So you will go and you get whatever you want from the suqs of Jannah. Because you abandoned businesses in this world, you abandoned your money in this world. So Allah will bless you in the hereafter with all that you want. Every Jumu'ah, you will come back with all the goods that you want. Because those who remembered Allah for Jumu'ah will be rewarded on Jumu'ah in Jannah by getting all that they wanted. Also, we learn that on Friday in Jannah is a very special day. And some scholars say that this will be after the suq. This will be something that takes place uh, on the afternoon of Friday. Uh, and this is Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, Waladayna Mazid. We have something more than this. And Ibn Abbas said that the mazid or the extra in this verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we have more is that on every Friday, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show his noble face to the people of Jannah. Every single Friday. And so Friday has been set apart that those people who remembered Allah in this world and who remembered Allah Azza wa Jal in Jumu'ah, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala will bless them with the greatest reward and that is to look at the noble face of Allah wujuhun yawma idhin nadira ila rabbiha nadira. And these are the blessings of Friday even in the next but these blessings will only be given to those who deserve them to those who have implemented what Allah Azza wa Jal wants them to implement and the scholars point out that that is why Friday is blessed that the one who perfects Friday will get these blessings as well in the next life on the day of Friday. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Friday is not the last day of the week, it is the first day of the week. Friday is a new beginning for us. Every Friday, we should think of Allah creating Adam, of Allah causing Adam to enter Jannah, of Allah causing Adam a second chance to come down to this earth, of Allah accepting the repentance of Adam. Every Friday, we should think, what have I done this last week? Let this week be better than last week. Let this week be a new beginning for me. Let me make sure that from this Friday to the next, I'm gonna make sure that just like Adam was given all of these chances, I too will be given all of these chances. Let Friday become the most blessed and glorious day of the week as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended. He who honors Friday in this world will get the blessings of the Fridays of the next. And what great blessings they await us in Jannah on these days of Friday. He who abandons all of these businesses and money and pleasures to come to Jumu'ah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless him with looking at him at Jumu'ah on the day of Friday. What better blessing is that? Waladayna mazid. Allah says, we have much more for them and that much more will be the blessings of Friday in Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cause us to be amongst those who see Allah every Friday in Jannah. Allahumma inni da'in fa'aminu.